With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Eight equal drops of water are falling through air with a steady velocity of 10 cm per second. If the drops combine to form a single drop big in size, then the terminal velocity of this big drop is. So here it says, suppose this is our drop of water. Let's say such 8 equal drops of water falling with the terminal velocity given as 10 cm per second. Now these drops here combine, we can say here, these drops combine to form a bigger drop and here it says we need to find the terminal velocity of this bigger drop. So here this let's say radius of this smaller drop is r and its terminal velocity is given as 10 centimeter per second. Now here it is being asked that this bigger drop of radius r, so what will be its terminal velocity that is v dash. So here we know the terminal velocity formula is given as 2 by 9 into r square into g divided by eta into rho s minus rho l that is density of the sphere. This is density of the liquid. This here is our let's say here we can say coefficient of viscosity. g is the acceleration due to gravity. r is the radius and v here is our terminal velocity. Hence we can see here this terminal velocity is proportional to square of the radius. Now we can see here when 8 such drops combine to form a bigger drop. So volume will remain conserved. Hence initial volume is equal to final volume. Hence 8 into we can see here volume of one small drop is 4 by 3 pi r cube forming a bigger drop of radius r. So final volume will be 4 by 3 pi into capital R cube. So we have here as r cube is equal to 8 into let us say small r cube. So radius r will come out as let us say 2 r. Hence we can see here that v dash divided by v comes out to be our r square divided by small r square. Hence v dash the new terminal velocity is equal to v into we have here as r by r whole square. So here the terminal velocity v dash comes out to be v here is 10 centimeter per second and r we have calculated as 2r divided by r whole square. So the new terminal velocity comes out to be 40 centimeter per second. That is we can see here option number 4 40 centimeter per second is the terminal velocity of this big drop. Hence 4 is our answer. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.